In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do a quick check on the accuracy of the temp and humidity sensors. This is the chamber sensor. This is the room sensor. They're highly accurate and very sensitive. So when doing the, the test, ensure that both sensors are equal distance to the floor. It's also important that you don't place the puck in any sort of orientation, but equal distance to the floor. Not on its face, not on its side, equal distance to the floor. The second important thing is you don't have any air blowing on the puck or on the sensors. That includes air from yourself, from your breath. The third thing that's very important is you don't touch the sensor or get your hands close to them to ensure that they don't get affected by your heat. Start by pushing the settings button, click advanced, scroll until you get to the speedometer looking icon, click that. You're now in live sensor data. From here, you'll see that the chamber RH is 35%, the room RH is 34%. That's within the 1% plus or minus, so we're good there. The chamber temp is 74 Fahrenheit, the room temp is 76 Fahrenheit. Again, both sensors are plus or minus 1%, that's within spec there. It's also, I have the chamber's sensor a little bit lower than the room sensor to ensure that the camera can see it. If I were to shift it, I'll probably get the sensors to line up with a more accurate reading. Now, ensure that when you do this, you're tattle, or you're ensuring when you do this, you're tattletailing each sensor against each other. So the more pucks you have, the more you can tattletail. If you find a sensor is out of spec or not within the range of another sensor, it could indicate that it needs to be replaced. And we'll show you that in another video.